Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. The special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Mr. Femi Adishina, said yesterday that the position of the president on farmers and elders clash or let's use the proper uh, expression for this, invasion of Fulani or northern bandits and terrorists in the country, according to Femi Adishino, he said that anybody bearing arms unlawfully must be arrested and prosecuted. And I think the question that pops up right now is this. Why is it that AK-47 carrying criminals are not arrested? Why haven't they been arrested? The same president gave an order in the middle belt of Nigeria, Benue State, and they were told all the people in that particular state were told to drop their guns, their damn guns, whatever it is that they used in protecting themselves against invasion. They were told to disarm themselves. But these terrorists, these bandits, they go about with their guns. They go about getting money from federal government when they drop some of these useless weapons. They get more money from the government to buy more sophisticated weapons. But who gives money? To the farmers who lost their lives, who gives money to their family, who gives money to the people that are internally displaced in the camps. Additional said this while responding to a question on farmers and elders clash in the country during a television program, Tag Politics Today on Channels Television. The president's spokesman restated that the position of the president has always been the same on the farmers and elders clash. He said if the governor would say that he hasn't heard the president speak on that matter. That, that's what he should make clear. It is not the president hasn't spoken because a number of times the president has spoken on that issue. His position has always been the same. Anybody that carries hands unlawfully should be arrested and prosecuted. The president has said it countless times and that is the position. Whoever he is, wherever it comes from, Criminality is criminality. Anybody bearing arms unlawfully must be arrested and prosecuted. So the next question that pops into your mind is this. Why have we not seen any of these people prosecuted and sent to jail? Why haven't we seen any of them? Now, according to the governor of Kaduna State, Nasar Erlfai, he said, no single bandit will repent why because they make millions if not billions in a year in kidnapping in ransom so why would they want to repent from this why would they want ma integration into the society that they have seen as a weak headless directionless country why would they want to leave that opportunity they have for a school why would they want to leave any of this they will not that is what nasa erofi stated and i think i agree um terrorist bandits should not be granted amnesty there is no way they will repent somebody that wields guns here and there and sees people panic here and there automatically the person feels he has the power to life and death with this he believes that he's a teen god, like a small god somewhere. And this person makes money out of this. Somehow, this person is able to even infiltrate the society, probably end up as a senator, end up as any of the legislators in the northern part of Nigeria, engage in business. Tell me, what is the use of millions and billions of nairas and dollars in the forest? Is it to plant more trees? No. Definitely, aside procuring more weapons, they definitely use this money in the city. They use it in the same Nigeria. They buy properties. They live in homes somewhere. They might be your next door neighbor. They travel to Saudi Arabia on pilgrimage. They do a lot of this because it is useless having millions of Naira that you don't spend. So we cannot say the ransom that was collected in Kasina State when Buhari visited, we cannot ever, ever say the ransom money just went into the bush. No, it 
went back into the system. It went back to where it came from. There are some people who are in government. There are some monarchs. There are some religious leaders and the criminals themselves who spend this money. Even if they end up buying cows or whatever it is. They say they started as bandits. People who just stop people on the road and collect your mobile phones and all of that. till they became what they are. So if criminality is criminality, why is the federal government of Nigeria, the president Buhari, not speaking against this and making a stand on it and saying crime is crime. Whoever is caught should be prosecuted rather than pampering and saying, no, Fulani hates men are not these, Fulani these are not that. We all know that Meiti Allah was part of the dialogue that released those school boys. So if Meiti Allah has access to this terrorist, if the sheikh who visited the bandits recently has access to them, why is it difficult for the Nigerian army to put an end to them? They do not need them killed. They want them pampered. They want money to be allocated to them every year. Military is involved in it. They want to keep violence alive. And it is hitting deep into them. Killing them. It, they've already taken over the middle belt. The south of Nigeria is already infiltrated. What else remains? It is going to get to a point whereby the last drop will turn Nigeria into exactly what people are avoiding. It's quite unfortunate. So, to the special advisor, I think he should begin to talk. We don't want to, he should begin to say the truth. We don't want to point fingers at tribes now because doing so will be mediocrity, to be foolishness. Crime exists everywhere in the world. Crime exists among every tribe. Crime exists in all family. Criminals exist in all family. But if a particular crime is being pampered, covered up, they said full lineage men are not terrorists, they are not bandits, it's the cattle rustlers who are hiding and pretending and all of that. So what is happening in the south of Nigeria? Who are those people who infiltrated? How come they are not reported? How come somebody, your kinsmen, tribesmen, infiltrate your business and you cannot report them? The truth of the matter is this. These herdsmen, they realize that kidnapping and many of these atrocities and crime that they commit gives them more money. Risky, but gives them more money. And now that they have support, it is no longer risky. It gives them more money. So with this, they do and undo. With this, they believe that the cow is just a cover for what they do. They are so organized. If this Fulanese or Earthmen have information, or may Allah have information as regards these aliens who come in, the ones from the north or wherever it is, from the Sahel, and in Gambia or wherever, why haven't they given information to the police, to the DSS? And what is the DSS doing? I thought the DSS job is to go on, you know, clandestine, you know, underground job and stuff like that, like how it's done in America, like CIA and stuff like that. How come they are not giving information out? It is because certain groups of people are involved in that cow business. Money is being returned to certain people in the north of Nigeria. Whenever they kidnap, they have to pay a godfather somewhere. They have to pass the money around. And the money goes round and round and round. It's a criminal syndicate. It's quite unfortunate that um, the president of Nigeria is dead and he's not alive. If he's alive, he should have spoken. But who knows? He might be alive, but he's comfortable with what is happening. Or is it that he has advisors around him that are giving him um, lies, telling him lies and telling him nonsense? I wouldn't know what it is, but it's quite unfortunate very unfortunate. A lot of people have been raped, people have been killed, all in the name of cow business. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.